Hey guys, Jeremy Gillespie here for Going For Broke Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna show you a quick tip of how to use lines in Onyx, export those lines into Caltapo, and use those to identify property boundaries that aren't in Caltapo. So first thing we're gonna do is get signed into Onyx and find your property. Here we're looking at one state of New Mexico. In the upper right-hand corner on your desktop, get the Draw Line tool, select that. Then you're gonna go ahead and click your mouse, left click to outline the property with a line. Save that line. And then close this box out, your line box. And then in your My Content folder, click My Content in Onyx, go to the lines. You'll have created this last line. Click the three little buttons to open the menu. And we're going to want to export the line. You're going to want to switch to KML file type. This will be a file type that's readable by Caltapo. So select KML and click Save. That'll download a KML file. And we're going to jump over to Caltapo. So right now, I'm in the same general area, but it's hard to tell exactly where this property starts and where it ends. So I'm going to go to this Import button in Caltapo, upper left-hand corner. I'm going to choose a file. And then in my Downloads, I'll have this Onyx markup. I'm going to select that. Open that file, import the data. So just click the import button. And now I can clearly see the outline of the property in question. Now, if you're like me, I prefer the CalTapo options for mapping much more than the Onyx. You can get a lot more fidelity in the maps. You can use these shaded image layers and slope angle shade and all that. So that's great. So now, once I'm in here and I have this boundary, I'm gonna show you how I would plan a route in Caltapo using the line feature in Caltapo, save that, and then import it into Onyx. So in Caltapo, let's say I wanted to travel through this mountain range here. So we're gonna select the Add button, add a line, and let's say I want a route that avoids some of these steeper areas where it's shaded, so I'll draw my line through here, go above this little draw, go through the bottom, pick my way along here, up this way. Okay, now I've got my line I wanna travel. So double click to end your line. We can uh, edit and name it if we want. We'll call it planned route. And hit okay. Okay, so now I've got planned route over here. What I want to do is uncheck the other line. I just want plan route and I'm gonna click export. Now by default, it's gonna export to a JSON file. We don't want that. Again, we want KML because this transfers easily between CalTapo and Onyx. So select the KML file type, click export. Just like the Onyx, that'll go to your downloads file. So I'm gonna come into Onyx now. I'm gonna go back to my content. And in your content, you have an import option. So I'm gonna import, select from a computer, find the file location, which is gonna be this export one from CalTapo. I'm gonna open that. Import it. And now I've got my line. So there you go. That's a quick tip how I use lines in CalTapo and Onyx to outline properties to see them in CalTapo and to plan my routes in CalTapo that I then import back into Onyx. Hope you found this video helpful. If you do, like and subscribe for more videos like this. Catch you guys next time.